Welcome to our model railroad structure build series. This is how we scratch print a coal mine. This is the series finale. We're glad you're here. Stick around. Work's coming up right now. Hey, this is Brian with the Iron Horse Root, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. Welcoming you to our series finale, how we scratch print a coal mine using Tinkercad and Cura. We're very glad you're here. As I said before, this is a series. So if you have not already, and this is the finale. So if you have not already seen the other parts of the series, I'm going to put a card right here right now. Please go ahead and click that, follow that playlist. It'll give you the whole series in sequence. You can catch up right to here in order. If you have not already, I want to encourage you to subscribe, click the bell icon, and share this with your other model and friends. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, smash that like button if you feel that way, and leave us a comment at the end. And now I'm going to shut up. We're glad you're here. Let's let the work speak for itself.
We got the spurs ready now to put some cars down and back there and test it out and make sure the track's all good. We showed you all that and we're at the end of the coal mine project now, right now. And so what we're going to do is we're got to do the reveal on the name of the coal mine. And what I got to do is I got, I got to give a big shout out to Roy Eltham a little while back. He <laughs> sent these to me as a channel donation and I really appreciate it. I'm actually dedicating this whole series to Roy because he sent me these cars. He sent me another set of these. You might have seen them on the layout so far, but I've saved these for this reveal. So that's what we're getting ready to do. We're getting ready to break this open and slide these on the, uh, on the rails. And I wanted to show you that because we're going to do the reveal. I've actually got some other cars. Again, Roy sent me 10 of these guys right here. It was a little while back. And this is a big shout out to him because we do appreciate it. And we're even going to name the coal mine after him. It's Eltham's Coal. And uh, we would really appreciate Roy for donating these to the channel. And I thank you very much, man. AJ and I appreciate you. Shout out to Roy Eltham, everybody. Everybody go over and check out his channel. He's a great guy. Um, I knew he was cool, but then he's very kind as well. And y'all, AJ and I had a ton of fun doing this project. And we got another one on the way. If you have not already, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Click the bell icon. Share this with your other modeling friends. Smash that thumbs up button for me and leave me a comment below to let me know that you're here. And stay tuned because we're going to be doing the Winter Park Balcony House next. That's right. The Winter Park Balcony House has served as the ski lodge up at Winter Park since the 1930s. It's a historic landmark and we're building it right here on the Iron Horse Street. Stay tuned.